everybody, this is Praxis, and today it's more odds and ends, just trying to get things continuing to move ahead. Uh, what I did when I first got here is the, uh, the pass-through for the conduit that goes from here into the shed, that uh, transfers the hot water back and forth, also has that add-on of the water line to the shed and the electrical line. I added some more concrete uh, to those to get them all plugged up. Those are finally all done. They're plugged up. They got foam on the outside, concrete on the inside, and those are set. After that, I worked on getting a dehumidifier that would uh, work uh, off of solar power uh, at the basement of the shed. Because the basement of the shed has 140 square feet, you know, squatty square feet, but 140 square feet of storage space, which I'd really like to use, but it was very humid down there. I don't know if that's a permanent situation or just the fact that it had been a swimming pool for a while with a lot of water falling in and with the plastic not nowhere to go. Uh, but I want to have a dehumidifier running in there, and I got it running off of some solar panels that uh, send in about 10 watts. The thing runs on about 60 watts. It's one of those... Um, it's like not the ones you use a compressor pump. It's like a completely electric, electronic process. It's not the most efficient way. Well, efficient is not the, the, it's not the quickest way. It's not the quickest way to do de dehumidification, but it uses less energy and it can run off of the solar panel. So I got that set. Then when that was done, I came in here and behind you, you can see uh, at the top of each one of these little bays, there's a horizontal board added. Uh, that is set so that I can, uh, when I finish this wall up, it has something to nail to up there. Got those set in place. And then the last thing that I did, and I'm just about to finish it up now, is these uh, uh, floor joists, uh, ceiling uh, joists here. I got them all uh, uh, taped up. Well, this one all taped up, and I'm starting to tape the other ones, and I'm starting to uh, stain down them. Uh, with the stain that I'm using, the process is you put, uh, put the, the stain on, and then you wait about, you know, 15 minutes or something like that and then you kind of wipe off or wipe off and that kind of takes it off of some of the, uh, the harder wood areas where there's like knots and things, makes them a little lighter, makes other areas a little darker, just adds kind of a, a bit of a marbling feel to it and uh, I think kind of enhances some of the beauty of the wood. You don't have to do that, uh, but I like to do it. I think it makes it just look a little bit nicer. So that's the last step for the day today, doing this. I'd love it if I could spend some more time working here, but you know, River has his uh, playtime with his friends. We've been doing that online during the pandemic. Sometimes he'll come here and visit out at the stream, but we do a routine daily thing where he gets together online, and we don't have internet here. We were supposed to have it quite a while ago, maybe like a week ago or so. Uh, River, was it a week ago? It was a while ago they were supposed to do it, though, right? It was a while. Um, once we can get internet here, I'll be able to work clean through the day. River will be here with me in the morning. You know, playing and stuff like that, get together with his friends in the afternoon while he's playing with them. I can continue to work. That that would uh, that'll almost double the amount of time that I can spend here each day, and that'll be great. So uh, that's where we are now, and yeah, just inching forward. So once we get internet, maybe it's like two inches at a time. <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching.